Canada. My brother really, really dislikes blowing his nose. So he just, he, throughout our teenagehoods, he just refused to ever blow his nose. So when he got a cold, or when he got hay fever, he would just sniff all the time. Sniff the mucus back up his nose, or wipe it with his hand. And it tore my parents up the wall, or sent my parents up the wall. They just got so frustrated with him. Constant sniffing. Constant, like every five seconds for an entire like day, just oh. sniffing. <coughs> and no matter how many times we demonstrated to him the superiority of blowing your nose, he didn't uh, take up the idea. My nephew was like that for a while. He had this thing where he just constantly would be like, <sighs> and I don't know if he was like trying to sniff or like he just couldn't like relax and like breathe properly or something. Mm. It might it might become like a uh, a habit. Yeah. I remember <coughs> when I got a really bad cold and it just caused me to cough all the time throughout the cold and even after I got over the cold my throat would still like be agitated and I would still sometimes cough um, randomly like even though I had nothing to cough up but I just felt like coughing was like a, something to feel like to, it was like a trigger to make sure that I felt comfortable Have you ever been self-conscious about your breathing? Uh, yes. Like, when I've been in... When I've been somewhere where it's been so quiet that you can hear the breathing, then yes. I remember learning that we do our breathing um, involuntarily. So yeah. it, our bodies just automatically breathe. But then we also are able to voluntarily breathe. <sighs> yeah. And so I began, my mind started one, wondering about this. And I started thinking, what if you just forgot to, to breathe? You were oh, so oh. distracted with something, doing something, that you just, your body stopped involuntarily breathing. And so I began always worried about whether or not I was breathing properly. And so I would just constantly mm. have to voluntarily breathe. God, that, that would be horrible. Oh. There were times when I was in high school where I just like, like I was worried. Like randomly through the day, I would like, it would be a bit like the game where you would go through your day not, not, not thinking about it. And then suddenly that thought would come into your mind. the reason I'm not feeling quite well is because I'm not breathing enough. Man, that's some serious anxiety. I had a thing kind of like that. Not really with breathing, but <coughs> I went through this phase where like at night I would start just thinking about all these moral and existential questions and then I started to like think about how eventually we're all going to die and then I thought about like one day I'm going to die and then like all everything will end and like what happens after that and I would just freak out about it <coughs> for so long and wouldn't be able to sleep and then like during the day I'd just be walking around like what's the point of all of this when we're all just going to die that would be some serious. I would tear you up the bends. And and also it wasn't just like about death. It was about like just the universe and like how big it is and how we don't really know anything about it. And I would think about like how many things are out there, like how many like creatures, 
that are out there that are so much more powerful than us and could just destroy us in an instant. Or how like an asteroid could just come and smash into the earth and we would all die. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever go through that? Some, some of it. Like... I have had done plenty of thinking about what death is like. Where I started thinking like that that moment after you die, like what would it be like? Is it just darkness? Is it like completely white? But then you're not you don't you can't think. So you aren't even aware that it's darkness. Like that type of thought, really. Yeah.